Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. Before we start, I just want to say thank you for all the support on these Scratch videos. I'm glad to see you guys enjoy them, but it's been almost a year since the last one, so let's not wait any further. This video is about how to make a rotation matrix. What's a rotation matrix, you may wonder? A rotation matrix is an equation that allows objects to rotate around a point using sine and cosine. Here is a video where our player is moving around a level. Here we have a similar video, only the camera is rotating alongside the player. But in reality, the objects are rotating around the player using a rotation matrix. Now let's start by making two sprites, one named player and one named objects. Let's click into the player sprite and go to the costume tab. I'll draw a small circle, but you can do whatever you like. Now in the code tab, make a new variable called rotation for all sprites. When the green flag is clicked, set rotation to zero. Add an a forever loop and an if else statement within it. If key right arrow pressed, change rotation by 5. Bring in an if statement and put it inside the else part of our if else statement. If key left arrow pressed, change rotation by negative 5. That will be all for now. Click into the object sprite and draw a square about 8 tiles tall and wide. In the code tab, make a new block called create object x with an input of x and y with an input of y. We'll use it right away under an if green flag clicked block. Put the x input as 0 and the y input as negative 30. Now create two new variables x and y, both for the sprite only. And under the define create object block, we will set these variables to the inputs x and y. Then create a clone of ourselves. Oh, I almost forgot. Make sure that the sprite is hidden. We only want the clones of the sprite to be visible. Bring in a when I start as a clone block and show. After that, we'll run a forever loop. We'll need two new variables. Rotated X and Rotated Y, both for the sprite only. Now we are going to make a script and I'm going to need your full attention because it's really long and can be easily messed up. Ready? X times cosine of rotation minus y times sine of rotation. Got all that? You might want to check your script against mine to make sure you got it all right. All good? Great. Now we are going to set rotated x to this equation within the forever loop. Now copy the equation and change cosine to sine and sine to cosine. Swap out the minus for a plus. Now we are going to set rotated y to this new equation also within our forever loop. Finally, bring in a go to xy block and go to x, rotated x, 
and Y rotated Y. Now we are finally ready to test this. It looks like the object is rotating around our player, but wait a second, the object isn't turning as it's rotating around the player. This can be fixed quite simply. Within the object clone's forever loop, put a point in direction 0 minus rotation. And that's that issue fixed. Now we need to create two new variables, camera x and camera y, both for all sprites. In the player sprite, make an if statement. If key up arrow pressed, change camera y by 5. Copy it and change it to if key down arrow pressed, change camera y by negative 5, and put them both in the forever loop. Now in the object sprite, we need to make a change to the rotated x and y blocks. Swap out the y variable for y minus camera y. Let's test this. We can see that the object is moving away and towards us. Now we just need to do the same for the x variable. x minus camera x. Now we need to be able to control the camera x of our player. Replace the 5 in the change camera y with cosine of rotation times 5. Copy the entire block and change camera y to camera x and cosine for sine. Once again, copy the entire thing and change 5 to negative 5 and put it in the if key down arrow press block. Now we can do one last test. Yes, we can move forward relative to the camera. Now we will do one final touch and our rotation matrix will be complete. And it's a very small one. Before our forever loop, set camera X and Y to 0. And that's it. We have completed our rotation matrix. All that's left for you to do is create your level. But what about collisions, sidestepping, or that annoying bug where sprites get stuck on the edge of the screen? We'll talk about that in the next episode. But in the meantime, why not leave a like or subscribe so you can make sure you don't miss part 2. That's all for now. See ya, everybody.